Hey guys, what's going on? It's not quite the stream, and we are ready for another instalment of the very hilarious, the very funny, the Stanley Parable. And um, yeah, so we've done various endings. I am kind of, at this point in time, I'm kind of a little bit, um, a little bit, oh, on that. go away console, I don't want to cheat anymore. Um, I need to kind of try and remember what we've actually, um, oh, I'm not fixing my camera, sorry guys, from last night. Um, yeah, I kind of need to remember where we, where, what routes we've gone and, and what we haven't done and, and different bits and pieces, so, yeah, let's sort that out. Is that better? That's good. That looks good to me. Hey, Eagle, 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 Eagle. Sorry, don't like to push people's names. All right, let's load the game. Let's jump back into our loaded game, at least. Our save game, sorry. Not a loaded game. It's not a loaded game, so we've loaded it. I think my game's broken. No, there we go. It's almost like Portal. It's almost like we're playing Portal. I'll call you that TG. TG, in it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not down here with the kids at all. Alright, so. Egal. Uh, yeah, I won't even try. Alright, anyway. <laughs> moving swiftly on. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to. Oh, we are not on the right sound card. Let me just change that real quickly. Apologies for that. To the meeting room. There we go. He had simply missed a memo. Much better. Or maybe we could just stand around. Maybe we, something happens if we just stand around. I, I don't know. Maybe I can pretend to not be here. Maybe we can hide. Let's hide. Let's hide. I wonder if there's a desk we can hide under, actually. I no wonder. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Have we already done this one? I can't remember if we've already done this one or not. I can't remember. Oh, we have some papers scattered about. Surely turning the computers on and off must be... Oh, hello, that's a new one. That's a new one. So we've done two of them. Okay. Interesting. What will all of that mean? I don't know. Fifth annual subcommittee meeting of internal revenue, revenue analysis for com committees of the Royal Revenue Discussions Club. Wow. That's a tongue twister. I want to go into 4 BC. All right, anyway, let's go on, shall we? Onwards we go. All right, which which door are we going to take, guys? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Let's um, enter the door on our left, shall we? I want to turn the computer off. You're wasting valuable electricity for the company. That one doesn't even have a uh, Ujima Flippy on it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, 
Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. This box is too small. Ha! Hey, Friday, is it Friday? I want to be in this office party. No, I haven't done the Bloom Closet ending yet, but I have been told it's a good one. What's going on, Eric? Welcome on to stream. Hope you are well. Uh, there, there was a lot going on yesterday. I think we, we did we did quite a lot yesterday, I think you'll be to be fair. Uh Treasure Ghost. We did a lot yesterday. Try to do it on a major door. Nope. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Um, did I trigger something else? I thought the... Oh, now we have to wait. Now we just wait. Okay. I thought the door locked, so that's why I was a bit confused. It's a nice, nice broom closet. Nice broom closet. I like the way the shadow is moving on the door handle. And the bucket, come to think of it. Disco Shadows. Inspired by Batcat and his disco chair. I just wonder if I've got like a conflicting thing going on here because the narrator actually didn't say we looked in the broom closet, right? Hey, lack of a bad name. What's going on, buddy? Welcome along to the stream. Hope you're well. I like when we're trying to interact with everything, it always sounds like we're typing on a keyboard. No, no he didn't. He just said, um, all he said was, I'm just going to let you finish doing whatever you want to do in there. That's all he said. 
coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his. We'll come back and do that again in a bit. This is a suicide ending, right? I don't want that. Did I break the door? I broke the door. I think I broke the trigger. I broke the trigger! <laughs> hey Ron, what's going on buddy? Hope you're well. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? It was that one. In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 28. Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a career. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. All right, so I got to come back for the broom closet. I got to come back to do the door there. And I can't escape that one. So that's fine. Uh, I don't know what if, I don't really know if there is anything else to do down there. Yeah, I have. I've done that rod. Yes, I have. I have. Yeah, I don't know if there's um, anything else I can actually do down here. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt Yeah, I did that as well, lack of a better name. It was a stirring of emotion. I have done that as well. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Can I can I go back? I think that's a thing. All right, like no worries. I will do in the future. Uh, we've done the SV cheese thing yesterday, actually, Eric. We did. Thank you very much for letting us know. <laughs> There must be more to like this downstairs area though than I've already done, right? If this light is on, call extension 914 immediately. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Was there anything else on the? I don't know. If, was there? Is there more than one ending on the escape path? I know I've done one. Was there? Is there more than one? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Is there? Is there more than one uh, path down here that you can take? I've been down there. I've got the. I've been crushed. I've had the woman narrator, and I've also been down there and walked back again.
Mind controls, yeah, so I've done the, I've pressed both the yes uh, and the no button, the, sorry, the on and the off button, so I've escaped, and then I've also been um, the countdown whole thing, which is pointless, so I've done that. Yeah, we did the disco thing yesterday, thank you very much for that TG. Um, so whether or not there, there is anything down here, down the escape path. Should we go that way? No? Restart? Okay. Let's restart the game. Again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Yes. We've got the A button achievement anyway. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. All right. I've got the door achievement. Yep. Yet there was not a single person here either. Um a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh no, oh no 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. So give me the same dialogue as last time. Wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. And I shut the door. Same as last time. I get no dialogue when I shut the door. So I feel like I'm on I'm on a certain line here or a certain path where I can't do this for some reason. Let's go and um, tell you what I'm going to go up to the boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his and... boss's office. All right, we'll do try and do this, right? Some month. All right, doors open again. Interesting. Doors are open again. That was weird. So all the doors have opened in reverse. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the start. Oh! That's a different door? Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Ooh, new door. You are now leaving. Some lights would be helpful. Okay. How much 
How many floors this place got? Jeez. Seven fifty eight. Um, a skateboard launch bay. Okay. Oh, there's a skate pod. Um. What? What? That didn't make much sense to me at all. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Here it comes. Restart the game. <laughs> but Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Is it the same? What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? Yeah, I think it's the he same, isn't it? I wanted to try it because sometimes you do you do the same action multiple times, you get badly. different outcomes. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. All right, so we're done with the mind control bit, right? So I don't think we need to go through the boss's office anymore, right? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, this is different. This is the opposite way. Okay. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the <laughs> office, but it didn't make a single difference. <laughs> no, did it advance the story in any way. Okay. Well, stop me touching everything. You do realise that, don't you? Yes, I've done that. I have done that. When 
Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So, let's see if we can do... I guess let's see if Broom Closet works, right? Does Broom Closet... Uh, you think I'm doing the baby crying baby thing? I know what you need to do for that, and I am not doing it. Nope. No, 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 no. Not a chance. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yeah, you think I'm going to sit and click for four hours then? I have patience. I don't think I've got that much patience. I want to get in here! <laughs> no fair. Uh, no, I haven't. No, I have not. Well, rip broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Is there anything else to do downstairs? Is is if you just go downstairs, is that just the suicide ending? So I don't think there is anything else we can do. So there is only one ending downstairs. All right. Okay, so there's no point in going down there then. Oh. No! As I say, there must be a way into the executive bathroom at some point, and huzzah, the door is open. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Okay. Yeah, I think it was. Um, I think it was when I bought this. I think it, there was a, there was an offer on. Uh, did I actually? I don't know. Maybe I got it. I don't know. Maybe did I buy the bundle? Let me check. Um, ba, 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 ba. No, I did not. I did not buy the bundle. No, I have heard of it and I have seen it. Extreme bathrooms. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything to do in the executive bathroom. Can't look at myself either. Mr. Krabs, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is all different. Okay. Hey, we found the third one. I wonder what happens when we get to five. I don't know. Alright, let's go in here. And... Is there... Graph! Um, do we go up or down? Way out of the building? What, not through the mind control? All right. <laughs> the elevator does nothing. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Can't blame a guy from just wanting to come here and, and chill out, right? Where's Stanley? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code so devious and so random that no man could ever hope to guess it. 2845. Statistically, nearly impossible to guess blindly, ever. Can Stanley we have some just wine? sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Uh, there's nothing else to do here, I guess, then, right? I probably need to restart. 2845. Forgot, but it turns out that Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story entirely. But no, no, this is what he was going to do instead. There's nothing else to do in this down here, then, I guess, right? I guess I'm done. Yeah, that's just going to take us down, and we don't want to go down, right? And we can't, like, press that and do that, so, um... Focus on the right door. Gotcha. Alright, let's begin the game again! Because it never ends, it never ends, it never ends. Oh, there's more bosses' offices. Okay. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Oh, we got four of the five. I wonder what happens when we get five. I have no idea. A crawl space in the boss's office. Ooh. Interesting. Let's go see if we can find some crawl space, shall we? I don't want to get back in that broom cupboard. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We're not on Discord. There's no Shrugo here. <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. All right, can we get in the broom closet? Wave of disbelief. No. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. We've clearly um coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. We've clearly missed the opportunity, I think, now in this this storyline, to 
Um, I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say, that's a lovely purse. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Jeez. I guess we just get the same things happening in here. I don't, think I, could, I don't think I could get in here before. It's kind of weird that I can get in here now. But, yeah. Anyway. I wonder if the music changes. Nope. It does not. Alright. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean, he wondered. Desperate for answers, he began turning the room over looking for clues that might unravel the situation. Until at last, he discovered a keypad behind the boss's desk. But alas, no code. For this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Can I get on top of the bookshelf? I don't know if there's anywhere that I can... Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. I don't see anywhere that I can... like, climb up or get on top of here, so... 2845. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Oh, I wonder if there's like a way you can. There isn't anything here. All right, let's begin again then. I wonder if we can find, like, the last... Oh. Welcome, Stanley, to heaven! <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've got to turn all these off. This would be crazy. This Stanley Heaven pushing buttons. Face punch, wasn't it? But I want to press all the pretty buttons. <laughs> so all of the, um, all of the um, inputs just bring me here, then, um, just like a secret Easter egg sort of ending. Okay. But I've now missed the... I've lost the other thing, because like this was all different. I should have gone straight out of here. That's quite frustrating.
all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So... This is different. Oh! This is different. I just walked past the way out. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Should we give up on the left path now and just start heading right, I guess? I guess Broom Cross it's not gonna ha not gonna work then right now. This so. was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Uh, we like the employee lounge. We like admiring the employee lounge, don't we? Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. It is. I gotta appreciate these this this fine employee break room. I told you that the last time. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right, left or that way. I wonder if I, there's probably going to be more endings on the um, the other thing, isn't there? There's going to be more um, when I got the the dev texture thing and the the baby room. Um, I think um, there's probably going to be more endings on that, right? When I jumped off the elevator, so. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Just, uh, you know, making sure. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. I don't know if we'd get any more dialogue if we jumped off down there again, or whether that's just like a one-time deal. 
What's that? What did you expect me to do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if there's any more endings from like dropping down the thingy again. I'm gonna go two before right now. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. We haven't been through the red door. We've been through the blue door. We haven't been down through the red door. So yeah, this is the right thing to do. Oh, thank God, you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. Are they going to take me back to the beginning? I guess so. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. No, wait. Where are you going? Sorry, do you want to come back? Right. Where were we? Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! Alright, should we go back? Is that what you want? You want us to go back? We'll go back. Oh. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll go back. I'll go back. I'll go back. Are you... You are going to stay here, aren't you? Can I jump off? No. I'm guessing this is just like a pretty light show, right? To make us feel safe. me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? But it never oh, ends. No, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Help. No. Oh, thank God you lived. No. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Is it over? 
going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> Death wish knock. <laughs> knock wish. Um, so I, I don't know. Does any, I just? I guess nothing happens if you stand in that other area and just wait, right? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, we'll go blue. We'll take the blue door. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. But eager to get back to business, All right. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, I've done that, yep. Yeah. We've finished Stanley that Easter egg so and that ending. Following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? Yes. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for yeah, you? Yeah, it makes, it makes me feel like I'm at home I put a lot of time on the Portal 2 workshop. I did. That's and why I wanted to come here. All for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. <laughs> no draw hell. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just going to go through the... I don't know. Yeah, go through the new door. That's what I did before, right? Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. I rated it five the before. Game benefited from allowing you more choices. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. So I'm going to say no with a one this time. Well, I went five last time. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out. Yeah, of the I've already been here. One. Let's take a look. Stanley, this is you.
I am objectively ranked bottom of the list. Alright. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated Trap yourself in portal. walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? I'm guessing um, it doesn't matter what options you, you, you choose here. Um, you're always going to get to the baby game, right? In this yeah. Game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes. Hey there, Migoro Horashi. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll uh, I have played Enter Chamber, yes, shot. I have. Not for a long while, but I have played it. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No. Here and then, let's see what does it need. I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it, gaze upon my work of art, and feel ashamed at your own. In that sounds a typical start, starting, starting night house, right? Starting house, starting night house. Sorry. Step inside. Oh, I, I thank you. Thank you for inviting me in. Isn't it? Grand? Yeah, oh, oh, it's lovely. Isn't it perfect? It, it's fantastic. Better... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Do I have to go mining? I don't know if this is like on a time limit or something. I don't want to go that way. But of course, Stanley can't jump. Oh my! It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I did pull out the phone. Yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. 
You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the Did that seriously make that noise it dropped off there? Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. How do I trap myself? Let the key what? Rest on the it and the door. Oh, okay, yeah, I got you. I got you. I get you. Maybe not enough. Now, how did you manage that? Are you really trapped in here? I'm actually quite impressed. I don't think there's a simpler puzzle out there, and you've still broken it. Well, since I don't intend to open that door, I guess you and this John Button just need to get cozy together. A dream for you, I'm sure. Enjoy. That's really it. Much less kind than GLaDOS. <laughs> So that's it. That's basically the hidden ending on that. So I never noticed the aperture logo in the middle of them buttons. How misobserve how unobservant I have been. All right, well, looks like we are going to restart. Shame there's not like a, it's like a, like a statistics section where you can actually see um, what you have um, and haven't unlocked. Um, Yeah, sorry, I was just looking at some something else. Um, but I am out of time today, unfortunately, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in, as always. My link's on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. I have not got the whiteboard ending, so we will continue on tomorrow and try and find some more of these endings um, along the way. Um, 
So I know we need to, we've still got like the broom closet. We've still got the, obviously we've got the whiteboard ending. Um, I'm guessing, although I don't intend on getting it because it will be an absolute drag. There is an ending if you do like the four hour baby game, perhaps. Um, there's an ending where we can get outside apparently as well. There's a window ending. The window ending though, is that the one with the, um, is that the one right off the start? Hold on. Yeah, the window ending is that, if I come back on to here, is this the window ending over here? Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, this one. perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. Is this no the window ending? Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-worker. I have done that. I've done both endings on that one. So, um, yeah, we are done that ending. We are, we are, we are. Yes, both the endings. Done both the endings. So, yes, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, I will be back tomorrow carrying on trying to find some more of these endings on the Stanley Parable. Until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.